Hi, I'm Christopher Slater. I'm a technical marketing engineer here at Tintree. I focus on databases, and today I'd like to show you how to use the Tintree VM store to be able to drill down into the performance of a database. So let's get started. First thing we're going to look at is the Tintree VM store graphical user interface. And have a look at these charts here. The system is showing us how many IOPS it's generating, the throughput it's experiencing, and the latency. The latency is particularly interesting for when you hover your mouse over the latency chart, it'll show you where the VM store believes the latency is coming from, and it calculates this. This gives us a very clear idea of who's generating the latency and will help you narrow down any performance issues that you might be having. In our case, we have no host latency, minor network latency, and all the latency we're experiencing is actually being generated by the storage from the flash itself. Further down the screen, you'll see a bar for performance reserves, the performance reserves say how much performance you're consuming and how much is available. And finally, the physical space on the system. On the right-hand side of the screen, you'll see the performance reserves changers. And we have some SQL databases running on here. I also have some Oracle databases on here as well because the Tintree VM store can handle multiple types of databases at the same time. So here I have production databases, TT0, 1, 2, and 3, and also production databases DB0, 1, 2, and 3. Let's have a look at an individual database. Click Search VM. You'll see all of the virtual machines that are running on this VM store right now, but we're really only interested in a couple of them. So let's filter this. SQL dash. Now you can see the SQL databases that I have running on there. That's just because I named them all SQL hyphen something. That was my naming convention, which makes it very easy for this demo. And if you want to look at SQL production three here, have a look at the individual bar graphs over here that again show us the latency, but this time it's the latency being experienced by that individual VM. Tintree's performance isolation provides isolation between all of these VMs so that they're is no chance of a high pressure IO task such as a backup or a full table scan from affecting other applications that are sharing the same VM store. Let's have a look at an individual database. In fact, let's look at this SQL database here called SQL Prod DB03. You'll see to the right that it has an individual bar graph showing us the latency on a host, network, and storage layer. There are some other information on this page, but I really want to see the virtual disks associated with SQL prod. Let's search, add to the search criteria and say prod dash db03. Now we're just going to see the actual vdisks that are associated with this SQL Server database. And I have this set up in a very clever way where I happen to put the page file on SQL SCSI 0 colon 15 so if I saw activity on this page file, I would know that this SQL Server database is having some problems with memory that are forcing it to page to disk. SCSI 1.0 and SCSI 2.0 are the data files and the log files for this SQL Server database. So you can see here by looking at the individual vDisks for this database, we're getting a good look into the performance of this SQL Server, and we can help anyone that comes along and it asks us, what's going on inside my SQL Server database? Well, we can drill down into it and actually have a look at the performance, the latency, and if there are any issues, it becomes quickly apparent. Tintree makes it very simple to identify the cause of latency, and if the VM store doesn't point to a bottleneck, it can at least show when everything is normal within the virtual infrastructure. Thank you for watching my video on database performance visualization with Tintree. Be sure to check out some of my other videos for additional information on running databases with the Tintree VM Store.